Hello everyone, in this video we are going to graph equation of horizontal or otherwise called a sleeping parabola of the form x equals a parentheses y minus k squared plus h. Just a review. The parent equation of a horizontal or sleeping parabola is x equals y squared. The equation in graphing form is x equals a parentheses y minus k squared plus h, where our h and k represent the vertex, and the equation for the axis of symmetry is y equals k. When a is positive, the graph opens right, and when a is negative, the graph opens left. Before we move into some examples on graphing this type of horizontal, a parabola equation. Let's have the shape of the parent graph of a horizontal parabola. So as you can see here, this is the parent equation of a horizontal, or again, this is otherwise called a sleeping parabola. That's x equals y squared. And we're going to be completing this table right here so that we are able to sketch the parent graph of a horizontal parabola. So let's take this uh, uh, problem that we have right here. Since uh, just a reminder that I switched the x and the y because usually most of the time we write the x first and then the y but this time I switch it around. In order that we can complete this table we are going to show the work on the side here. In order that we can solve for x we're supposed to square the y so that would be 2 squared and then we have 1 squared and then we have 0 squared, and we have negative 1 squared, and negative 2 squared. So once we square this, this would come out 4, this would be uh, 1, and this would be 0. This would be a positive 1, because you have a negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. This would be a positive 4, because you have a... Um, Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 since it's being squared. Now we're ready to sketch the graph. Just a reminder, this is the x, this is the y. We don't switch them. We uh, make sure that we uh, plot it on the right spot. So that would be 4 and 2. So x is 4 and up 2. So this is the first dot. And then the other one right here is 1 and 1. So it's going to be right here. And then the other one here is 0 and 0, so it's going to be at the point of origin. And then we have positive 1 and negative 1, so it's going to be down here. And then we have a positive 4 and negative 2, so it's going to be um, right there. So then we can go ahead and connect these dots together to create the uh, graph or to create the parent graph of a sleeping parabola or horizontal parabola. So this is the parent graph of a horizontal or otherwise called a sleeping parabola. This is called sleeping parabola because it's sideways, so it's horizontal. So it's either it opens right or it opens left. Now let's have a, an example on how to um, actually graph um, a horizontal parabola in graphing form. So we're supposed to sketch the graph of x equals negative 3y squared plus 7. Before we jump into this, um, um, e graphing this equation right here, let's fill this in first. So the graph is going to open left since we have a negative a. So this is going to open left. So we're expected that once we draw this, it's going to open left. Our h, so please remind, uh, please, uh, Please be reminded that this is our H and the K goes with the Y. So our H is positive 7 and our K is 0. So that means the locator point is at 7, 0. Now we're ready to um, graph this uh, equation right here. But before we graph it, let's complete the table of values first before we plot the dots. So uh, what are we going to do here is that we go into the first step. We use the equation in graphing form and the table of values from the parent graph to complete the table of values of the translated graph. So first thing that we need to remember is that this part right here, this uh, where the uh, y minus uh, k part will be placed right here, but instead we're going to switch it. Since th there is no number in there, others are going to think that it is 1. It's not 1, oh, but it's 0. No. So this one right here would be y plus 0. So um, this column right here would match up. That's the one that we, uh, we're going to translate. And this column would also match up. So if we were to fill this in, so 2 plus 0 is 2. And then we have 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 
negative one plus zero is negative one, negative two plus zero is negative two. So we fill this in. Our next task is to determine what are the values that we write on the other side right here. So that we can fill this in, we remember that we are supposed to use the a value. So I'm gonna write the a here, that's negative three. So I'm gonna write um, negative three, and then parentheses, inside the parentheses would be our x value. Because again, they, they're, they're supposed to match up. And then we are supposed to add the h right there. So that's a plus seven. So I'm just gonna reuse this one right here. So that's plus seven. So let's show the work on the side right here. So this would come out negative three parentheses plus seven, negative three parentheses plus seven, and including for the rest of them. Okay, the one that we write inside the parentheses are the x values. It's gonna be four, this is gonna be one, this is gonna be zero, this is gonna be one, and this is gonna be four. If we do the math here, negative three times four is negative 12, plus seven is negative five. And if we do the math for the rest of this, So we're ready to sketch the graph. So we start first with, uh, remember this is the X and this is the Y, so negative five and two. So X is negative five, then we go up to two. So this is the first dot. The second dot is positive four and uh, positive one. So positive four and positive one is gonna be right here. And then we have seven and zero. So the X is seven and then it's at zero, and then we have a positive four and negative one, so it's gonna be right here. And then we have negative five and negative two, so negative five, negative two is down here. So then we can go ahead and sketch the graph of this horizontal parabola right here, so we can connect the dots together. So it's gonna go up that way, it's gonna go down this way. So as you can see, the graph opens to the left and the vertex is at this one right here. Our vertex here is supposed is actually seven, zero, which matches to the one that we have right here. So this is the graph for this equation right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. You will see that all the red dots are actually part of the graph. So they pretty much match up with this graph that we have right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we answer these blanks first. So the graph opens right since this is positive. So it opens to the right. Our H is, remember that's the H part right here and this is the K. So then we go ahead and say that our H is zero and our K is switch this. So we always switch the K. So that would be a negative four. So then our locator point is zero, negative four. So this is the vertex. We're ready to do the first step. Use the equation in graphing form and the table of values from the parent graph to complete the table of values of the translated graph. So what are we gonna do here is that this one is gonna go down here, which will, but we have to switch it. So that would be y minus four. So if we are to fill this in, two minus four would be a negative two. And then we have one minus four is a negative three. Zero minus four is a negative four. And then negative one minus four is negative five, negative two minus four is a negative six. Now we're ready to fill this um, uh, column in. So first we remember that we are supposed to use this one first, so that would be one half. We can change that to decimal, that would be 0 0.5. And then we put in the value or we put in the parentheses, which we will use the x, uh, values of the x inside the parentheses, and we are going to write the h, which is a zero, so pretty much adding zero does not change it. So we can show the work down here. This would be 0 0.5 parentheses, and I will do the rest of them here. Okay, so we're ready to fill this in, the parentheses. Again, I did not write the zero, because adding zero does not really change the value. So I'm gonna write the values of the x here, so four, one, zero, 
one and four. So then if we multiply and do the math here, the values here would be two. This is 0 0.5, this is zero, this is 0 0.5, and this is two. So we're ready to sketch the graph here. So again, this is the X and this is the Y, so positive two and then down to negative two. So this is the first dot. The second dot is 0 0.5 and negative three. So the X is 0 0.5, halfway between zero and one. So 0 0.5 and negative three is down here. And then we have the next one right here is zero and negative four. So zero down to negative four, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be down here. And then we have a, um, 0 0.5 and the negative 5, so 0 0.5 and negative 5, so it's going to be down here. And then we have a 2 and negative 6, 2 down on negative 6. So this is the graph of this equation right there. So I'm just going to connect the dots together and create the um, horizontal parabola. So it opens to the right, and that's what we were expecting here since the A was positive. So this is the graph of this equation right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. You will see that all of the red dots are actually part of the graph, and it's pretty much similar to the ones that we have right here. So as you can see in this uh, graph, we see that our vertex is actually at zero, negative four. So that's zero, negative four. This is our locator point, and that's the one that we um, got over here. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So let's uh, fill this blank in first. So since this is a positive A, this opens to the right. And our H is this one right here. Remember, this is the K, this is the H. So our H is negative 8. And our K, we switch it. That would be a positive 3. So then the locator point is negative 8, 3. Now we're ready to uh, fill this table in. Again, the first step is to use the equation in graphing form and the table of values from the parent graph to complete the table of values of the translated graph. So let's start with the Y column first. Remember, it's this one that we write over here, but remember we switch it in, since that is the Y minus three. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's Y plus three. So I'm ready to fill this in. Two plus three would be five. 1 plus 3 would be 4, 0 plus 3 is 3, negative 1 plus 3 is, um, that's going to be 2, and the negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So then we are ready to fill this in. The A should come first, so if we change 2 divided by 5 in decimal form, this would come out 0 0.4, so I'm just going to write 0 0.4. And then parentheses, again inside the parentheses would be the x values that we have right here. And then we are going to use the H. We're going to add the H there. So that's going to be a minus 8. So then I'm going to show the work down here. So I'm just going to copy this. So 0 0.4 parentheses minus 8. Okay. Inside the parentheses are the values of X. So that would be 4. 1, 0, 1, and 4. Now, if we do the math here, these are the answers. So 0 0.4 times 4 minus 8 is negative 6.4. 0 0.4 times 1 minus 8 is negative 7.6. And I will do the rest of them. Okay, so we're now ready to sketch the graph. So negative 6.4, so that's going to be 6 right here. So 6.4 is um, somewhere around here, so I'm just going to approximate it. It goes all the way to 5, so it's going to be right here. So negative 6.4 and uh, 5, so that would be somewhere around there. And then we have um, negative 7.6. So negative 7.6 is the x, so that's a 7, 7.6 is up uh, there, so that's going to be a positive 4, so it's going to go here, so this is a positive 4 right there, and then we have a negative 8, 5, 6, 
uh, six, seven, eight, and then three, so it goes right here. And then um, negative 7.6 is to positive two, so it's gonna be down here. And then we have a, a negative 6.4, and positive one is gonna go down here. And this is the graph of this equation that we have right here. So I'm just gonna show the uh, sleeping parabola right here. So this is the graph of this equation right here. On the side, you will see the decimals version of this graph. You will see that all of the red points are part of the graph, which is pretty similar to the ones we have here, but it's just the decimals version of it. So as you can see here, our locator point is negative eight, three. So this is negative eight, three. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.